Hello and welcome to the show. Today uh, I've got a sponsored video. A big thank you uh, to the devs for uh, sponsoring this one. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, NHRA Championship Drag Racing, a game in which, well, we're basically driving or racing the fastest cars in the world if you talk about top speed. Uh, I don't know a huge amount about dragsters. I do know they are fantastically crazy. I've seen them a couple of times, not quite top fuel stuff, but uh, I've seen some pretty damn fast. They are unbelievably loud, they are unbelievably fast, and it's interesting certainly to see a game covering something that doesn't necessarily get all that much coverage. Certainly over here, um, over in England, we don't see too much of these. Uh, so I'm going to jump into the career mode. Now, you don't just have the top fuel stuff and the funny cars, etc. You start off at, uh, say, at the bottom. I mean, still with very, very quick cars at the end of the day, but uh, you start off at the, uh, the lower echelons, if you like. And you kind of have to try and work your way up. So when we get loaded in, here we go. This is the starting car. It's kind of a challenger. It's kind of a challenger body shell, uh, I guess, is probably the best way to sum it up. Um, there's a few different sort of bodies that you can uh, that you can go through. So I've played a little bit of the career mode, and I've actually got some upgrades along as you go. So you've got your, your basic bits of the cars that you need to work on. Gearbox, tyres, parachutes for, you know, slowing you down engine, uh, bodywork, and... Uh, Aspire, I guess that's the supercharger you can modify on the car. And as you go along, you'll be upgrading this. Uh, you can, these are some of the original bits and pieces that we've got going on. You've got your full setup work. If you know what you're doing, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a clue. So I tend to just leave it and hope. Uh, we've got R&D, so you can kind of improve your stuff as you go. I'm currently trying to improve my tyres uh, a little bit. So you've got kind of, as you'd expect, uh, with your vehicles. Uh, as you go through a season, you can change out your team. You can get different drivers and different managers, and they get various... Uh, bonuses as you go along and then we can buy some bits and pieces for our car try and improve it i've got thirteen thousand at the moment i'm trying to save some money actually uh because it's 150 thousand to go up to the next tier uh, and i keep spending money getting my car better mm -hmm. and then you can oh, customize your vehicle oh, wait hold on there we go that's what we wanted customize the vehicle uh in terms of the looks in terms of what the parachutes look like uh, in terms of what your hauler you know if you want to go down there. lots of customization uh for the vehicles and of course i have got mine running in my colors uh, orange and black uh, so we're going to jump into the next event uh that we are going wherever we're going to be heading to uh we're going to go to again uh, none of these places i know the only drag strip i know at all is santa pod which is about half an hour away from where I live, which I've been to a few times. It's probably one of the better well-known ones in England, if I'm honest, but it's just its just something that we don't really see all that much of um, over here. Uh, so these... The, the weekend is broken down into... Or the, the race meeting, if you like, is broken down into three days. You have Fridays, which I don't actually run. So the, the reason why is one of the big aspects of this, of course, is car maintenance. Now, if we go into the garage here, you'll see uh, there's a little green bar along at the bottom. And as the race meeting goes on, that is going to drop down. If it goes, drops all the way out, your car will pretty much blow up, break down, whatever. And it'll ruin your, your, ruin your day. As you can see at the bottom, you've got a time left. And, and this is a really important aspect, is to be managing this. Because it takes, so you've got 30 units of time, if you like. It takes seven to repair sort of three, I think it's three chunks of X7 to repair. If I run all the practice sessions, I'm going to end up trying to go into qualifying with slightly iffy parts or spend a fortune replacing parts uh, because things like tyres and parachutes you can't repair, you have to replace them. And if you blow them up completely, you've got to replace them. So it becomes a really tough balancing act. And while plenty of games have done this in the past, especially rally games, it's a lot more difficult in this because the parts wear down very, very quickly. So it is a real juggling act. And... I'm at the point where I'm fairly happy with my car. I'm fairly happy with... Uh, I know what I'm doing. Um, and that... Um, I think we'll be fast enough uh, going into qualifying. You get four qualifying runs at various different times a day. I'm sure it will probably make a difference to how the cars run if you know good you know enough i don't uh, so i'll just go like a temperature is always important in any sort of motorsport uh, to be honest um 
But yeah, so we have cut us a few stages, uh, if you like. We've got to roll the car forward. We've got to do a burnout to try and warm up the tyres and to leave some rubber down on the track. Uh, with this car, you can actually do kind of a standing burnout with some of the faster, more powerful engines. You can't. Uh, if you do too big of a burnout, you can blow your tyres up. So we want the tyres. I think about 170 is the temperature. Well, these might be a little warm. Well, those is about in the zone uh, for what we want. We shuffle the car back and then we will hopefully try and get it onto the light, get as close as we can. Uh, that will do. Right, hold the brake, wait for all the lights to go on, and then mash our way up through the gears a little bit. Uh, when you get to the top fuel stuff, they don't actually have gears to worry about. Uh, this is not a bad run from us there uh, for a first pass, and there, there we have it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, at the end of the day, drag racing is you drive down a straight very quickly. Um, you've got a lot of sort of like, I said, like prep work to be doing. That's a fairly solid run. Actually, 9.6, not bad. Uh, not bad at all for these uh, for for this car for this for this level. Uh, if you like, it's one of the faster passes I've done actually with this. And I've got to a point now with my car where we are just about the fastest one here, which is why I'm not too worried about the uh, practicing. Now, when we go here, okay, good news is we didn't really blow anything up. Uh, however, so you want to keep on top of your repairing. So I'm not going to worry about tires and parachute. Not a big problem. Very much very much want to keep on top of the engine uh, because that's a, that's the expensive bit to replace. Like if we have to replace, if I'm going to sacrifice something, the bodywork uh, or the aspiration will be the things that are sacrificed, so to speak, because they're slightly cheaper to replace. I, I imagine an engine costs more than $6,000. Um, I, I imagine they're very expensive if they completely blow up. Um, but yeah, with the way that the currency works here and everything, it's the most expensive part to have to replace. So we're in a pretty good condition here. We've got slightly worn tyres and a slightly worn parachute. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, about those. I've never had a problem yet with the uh, parachute failing or anything like that or missing the braking at the end. I think you can. Uh, oh, that was a little bit of a wonky burnout. It just started sort of shifting around. We are not lined up very well. Oh, this might not be good. <laughs> I twisted it slightly when I was launching. Uh, that's fine. Things are mostly okay. Right, let's shuffle you forward. Uh, don't go too far. Right, here we go. Now, I'm fine. I don't know if this is the correct way to do it. Uh, oh, we got a bit of a wander going on there. No, bad. Uh, this has not gone very well. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, uh, I have been tending to find that when it comes to like the whole countdown, it's, it's difficult to really commentate much of what I'm doing because it ha everything happens so quickly, which is a bit accurate to the real cars. Let's face it, track racing happens very quickly. That was not as good of a run. We were wandering around. That was messy. The other car against had a terrible run. Jeez. Um, with the Christmas tree. There we go. That's what they call it. When the lights come up, I'm kind of, I'm essentially preempting when it's going to go green. If you are wait for it to go green and then react, you're going to be way too slow. Uh, so I am essentially... It's probably its probably not good. And I'm going to... I jump start sometimes, but it, it works normally for getting a quick a quick run. Uh, so we're going to repair this. I am going to risk... I don't want to spend money on new tyres for a quality run. Again, so I'm going to risk those. If we're only using one chunk per go, we'll get through the next round. I might skip the final qualifying run depending on... Um, how it's going. <laughs> Whether that's a wise thing or not, I don't know. Uh, in general, in general though, we've been pretty fast, although I'm probably going to beans up in the first sort of eliminator round. So we will warm up the tyres a little bit. That might be a little cold, actually. Uh, that's not too bad. We twisted it again on the old on the old burnout. All right, let's go for a slightly better run here. Uh, we will, again, go for our sort of preempt last Basically, once it goes yellow, I'm releasing the brake and we go for it. And I haven't got my... So the gears, you've got to be shifting pretty damn quickly, which is why I'm actually often shifting a bit early, because uh, I've not quite got the knack. I say not quite got the knack. I'd, I would rather shift a little bit early than let it uh, get too high in the road. It's, it's, uh, the gears, I'm not quite, to say not quite used to, not quite sure on them. Uh, I think it's just a very different kind of gearbox to the one I'm used to. That was, that was a bad run, and I don't quite know how felt like that was a good run. We've got good reaction time. We're 130 again across the line, which is faster than anything else. How did a beans that one up? Jeez, yeah, they were quicker than me this time around. How did I do, what did I do wrong in that? Although they were the only one. Everyone else went really slowly. 
Uh, <laughs> hmm. Okay. Now, ah, yeah, now you start to see where it becomes a little bit more tricky. Because we're going through this. Now, this one here can be repaired and that will be fixed. The engine, that can be fixed. Uh, that can be fixed. Oh, that does fix all of it. Of course, it was, it was three it was needing. Uh, do I go into the final? We'll repair. We'll go into the final quality run with wreck. Actually, maybe it's my tyres that are costing me some time. I'm not, again, we're, we're going to be qualified. It's top 16 qualified, I think it is, uh, into the knockout stages. Ah. Uh, I'll be fine. If I blow my tyres up, man, if I blow my tyres up, I might crash them, blow my and blow my car to pieces. I, I'm going to go with, I'm risking it. I'm risking it to try and save a bit of money, uh, which, well, I mean, yeah, probably not the best way to do it, you know. Uh, I don't know, yeah. We're not being very safety conscious, but, but I am trying to save some money. I do like some of the body shells you've got. There is a uh, like classic pickup truck you see sometimes in this category that I want to unlock because I want a classic pickup truck style body. Are we twisted again? I'm doing a terrible job of keeping this thing in a straight bloody line. Okay, here we go. We will... Oh, that's almost a jump start there. Oh, we've got all sorts of wandering out. Yeah, I can tell my tyres are gone. The car's wandering all over the place and this is a poor run. That felt bad. Okay, we still got about 130, but... Yeah, that was not so good. <laughs> if we win this final round of qualifying, I would be surprised. Probably going to be over 10 seconds. Yeah, tyres are shot. But... Oh, boy, that was... Okay, I take that... How was that so far? That felt terrible. The car won the... How did I do a 9-3 with shot tyres? I, I, I see... I know nothing. I know nothing about it. That run felt awful. Apparently, we just got it hooked up and went. So that is the fastest pass I've ever done with this car full stop on completely shredded time. <laughs> Obviously got my gears. Perfect. I felt like I over-revved it and then shredded it. Yeah, that felt terrible. But we'll slap some new tyres on it. Oh, beans. I shouldn't have done the final bloody qualifying round. You've broken my... Oh, crap. So we're going to need a new gearbox. You're going to need new tyres. Well, I'm going to blow up if I'm not careful. So I can't fix all of these. If I go for repair on this, so it's quicker to swap. You know what I might do? Swap that, repair the engine, and then repair that. Okay, now actually that's come out quite well. We've had to we've had to get a new supercharger on it. But that's only about a thousand. So that's fine. We should be good to go. We're in pretty good condition going into the first of the eliminator rounds. Uh, so we're up against a Camaro uh, style car here. Come on. Let's go and run forward. Now, can I do another 9-3? <laughs> if my tyres have been in good condition, I wonder I wonder how fast. Maybe I would have got that under, under I don't know if this category of car was it super modified, I think? I don't know if this category of car actually, how fast in real life the record for these are. Um, but yeah, that, that it's always the times. It's always the times. That's when you feel like you've had a great run, it's terrible. And then you feel like you've had a terrible run and it just doesn't it actually is quite good. I don't know what the flashing... Boy, that one is flashing. Right, here we go. We are... Oh, that was slow. That was bad reaction time by me. I mean, my car is very fast, and I'm going to get out of jail free card a little bit with it, I think. Um, at this point... Yeah, that, felt, that was decent enough. That was a decent enough run. We will slow you down. Now, I mean, you'll get us through. don't know what the time was. I'll be curious to see. What did we do? Time. Nine, another 9-3. Nine, okay, that was 9-3 with an awful reaction time. I was way too slow. <laughs> oh, no. Far, far too slow. I have, next one, I'm going to bloody jump start because I'm going to be trying to overcompensate for, uh, uh, for for that last one. What are we... Ah, stop falling apart! You were good in practice and now you're made of paper mache. And again, bear in mind here, this is a car that, as you can see, I've got quite good quality parts. These parts wear slower. So the first few races, and you know, as you go up the categories, the first few races with cars are just diff really difficult to keep them going. You're not going to be winning from the off. Uh, I want to fix that. Okay, what I might do... I might swap out the body, repair that. Can't fix that. Leave crappy parachute and repair gearbox. I uh, don't have time to fix the supercharger, but that'll do. That'll work. Sure. Let's go into this next one. Oh, please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. <laughs> is that is that a common thing when you do drag racing, sitting there saying, please don't blow up to your car? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I, I, again, I know these are 
very highly tuned machines. Certainly the top fuel dragsters. We'll get to those. We'll do some quick play at the end just to show off the top fuel dragsters, the funny cars and stuff. And they're all different, uh, terrifying experience. Those ones are. Uh, all right. Inch for my parachute might fail. I'm just seeing that's red. It was. It shouldn't have been red. It was still like four bars, wasn't it? Who's fitting the car with a dodgy parachute? Oh dear. I've never had the parachute fail yet on this. Uh, oh god. There we go, we're through the gears. We shuffled around a little bit. Uh, yeah, my parachute's failed. Thankfully, we're not a top fuel dragster, so... Jeez. Uh, we do still get slowed down. Our, our brakes are good enough. And it exploded. Oh, what's broken in it now? <laughs> we're so good in qualifying. Can I get points on qualifying? What have I broken? We're in the semi-finals at least. I mean, we're guaranteed a top four. That's something. What's bro? Everything's bro. Actually, no, just the engine blew up as we crossed the line. At least that's all. Oh, damn it. I should have swapped you out. Right, swap those out. These parachutes are only 300 quid. Uh, fix you. What's more expensive? Actually, I can fix both. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, bugger. What's the bet in the bodywork falls apart as we go? <laughs> right, don't blow up this time. Time to go and start the next race. Oh, okay, so we're up against the Camaro, I like, again. Uh, we've got... At least we're going to have parachute. I'm so... That is the first time I've had a full parachute failure on a car. And I'm so glad it wasn't with the top fuel ones. Because they're doing 300 and God knows how many miles an hour. Well, I've got a little too far forward for my uh, burnout on this one. Oh, this is not a good run. Tires are too cold. I was busy thinking about the parachute failure. And yeah, I've done a really bad... I should have done my burnout much sooner. Because you want the rubber down on where you're launching, not... And I guess it's it's still going to get used in front. I just it needed to be where I was like, oh, this is not going to be a good run, I think. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've not got this one here. Right, I'm hoping, again, hoping my car will be a get-out-of-jail-free. Oh, it's actually going to be very close. I think this one, that's bad. These parachutes have come out, and we can slow the car down. Eee, that one was messy. That one was, yeah. I mean, that sort of stuff, you'd be out if I was in a slower car. Um, we survive, but that's our worst run of the day. In the next round, we can't do that in the final. That's for sure. Ooh. And we are against, yeah, Bubba John has basically been in the final every time, I think, uh, in these, as far as as far as, our, as far as I'm aware. Okay, we're fine. Uh, we'll repair that. We will... Repair that. We'll definitely repair the engine. Now, the question is, do I slap on some new tyres for the final? How much? Like 300? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. We got this. We got this. Some new tyres for the final. Can we make this work? Can't have another bad run for this one. We've got to get it right. Uh, okay. Let's do a burnout a little bit further back this time. And try and lay down a good amount of rubber. Ooh, it's going to be a little bit warm on the old tyres. No, that's perfect, actually. Okay, we're looking good. We wandered a little bit on the burnout, but that's fine. Here we go, car. Come on, we can do this. Can we get down to a 9.3 again? That would be nice. Uh, right, here we go. Oh, that might be the jump start. Oh, we've got massive wobbling down the straight there. Eee, okay, it wasn't a jump. That felt really close. I think we've won it. We had a bit of a scare halfway down the straight. A little bit of a wonder. Uh, and there we go. We will come to a rest. I think we've won it. Car didn't blow up. It is our fastest pass of the day. Of course it was. It was scruffy and a bit out of control. <laughs> but it was quick. That was the bit that matters. I very nearly had a crash on that one. Because these don't have very good steering. There's very little... I mean, you, you get a little bit of control, you get a little bit of steering going on with it, but the drag cars are hard to go one thing straight very quickly. Oh. Hey, but at least we've got we've got some money now. We've completed the season goal for Lucas Oil, I think it was. Um, we've got another week until our tyres are improved. We've actually made a good chunk of money there, which is good, because it costs... So, yeah, so if you take a, take a look at the, the, the finances of all of this, um, we got 11,000... Actually, we got 11,000, I think it's just general sponsors. For winning, we got 12,500. It was 13,000 in swapping out the parts along the along the day. So you do have to really pay attention to your... Uh, I don't want to be swapping parts out, even with a good car like this one that I've got at the moment. 
Um, swapping parts out gets very expensive, but it is easy to lose money over a race weekend if you are not careful. You're, yeah, so you've got to really think about it all. Which does... I, I like that. I like that element that even a decent quality car like this one is a real, real concern. Uh, a lot of things, like a lot of rally games, for example, it'll only be damaged when you crash into stuff and so on. This is just sort of wear and tear that you've got to really measure and balance. And yeah, the, the early stages, it's difficult to, to be balancing it all. Um, so there we go. Let's look at the career mode. And of course, you can go through all of this. You go up the tiers uh, through the various different vehicles. That is, is very good fun, actually. And... We are going to go back to the main menu because we're going to have a go with some of the really fast cars now. Uh, the top fuels and the funny cars, uh, these are all a bit of a different experience uh, to be worried about. So we're going to jump into quick play. I don't know any of these tracks. We're just going to go to here. Maple Grove Race Raceway, sure. Let's go with a funny car first of all. Uh, we will go up against... Let's go against the fastest driver from this lot. Why not? That can only go really well for me. Uh, so with the, with the funny cars, uh, you don't have quite the same... You don't have to worry about gears for this. Um, you don't hold it on the brake uh, on the start line like I do with the uh, car that I was just just sort of running. You don't do kind of burnouts in the same way. But it is a lot easier to blow your tyres to pieces when you're trying to warm up. Don't know what I want for the centrifugal clutch settings, but you can change about with those if you wish. Um, oh, there's an ambulance. Probably a good, good idea. Probably a good idea. We're probably going to need that at some point. So yeah, this, this one you just kind of boot it. Oh, that got very hot on the tyres. Uh, I have blown up quite a few tyres on funny cars and top fuels just because I'm way too big of a burnout, essentially. Uh, so Now, these things, they are so powerful when they launch, you've got to be really careful that they don't wander about and try and correct. It's really difficult to catch it if they have started going for a wander. Right, here we go. And Oh, that's a terrible start. That was an absolute... Oh, the AI had a wander. I've had a wander. I was so slow on the reaction time there, but I got away with it because the AI almost wandered into my lane more than I wandered into theirs. Jeez. Uh, yeah, these things are ridiculous. I mean, I love like, I love the real life ones. They're, they're insane. Um, hey, they got disqualified. They did. They actually did wander into my lane. Um, that would they would have probably won that by a fair way had they not had a one. That's the first. So there's the first time I've seen the uh, AI disqualified in the actual race that I was in. They've been like disqualified when we're looking at the qualifying times and so on. First I've actually seen them make make mistakes. Um, I have crashed into an AI car a few times because uh, I've wandered across into their lane. Uh, we will. Oh, that's too. Yep. Yeah. I knew I did that one too big. <laughs> there we go. Uh, now I blew my tires to pieces. Ah, uh, goddamn! I was trying to leave like a good um, uh, sort of strip for launching from, and I just did a too big of a burnout. So yeah, you've got to measure that sort of stuff. But of course, this is quick play. It doesn't matter. I do that in career mode, and you're going to burn through your money really quickly. Uh, that might be a bit too smaller a burnout, actually. That could be cold. Oh yeah, that's cock ties. Uh oh. <laughs> we're gonna. I bet we're gonna wander. If I can get it, if I can do it well, we might still get away with it, but I think we're going to not have much traction here off the line. There we go. All right, here we go. We are off. Oh, the AI's got a bigger what? The AI's having all sorts of wandering today. Um, I've never seen them wander so much. Normally when I go up against John Force, they thrash me every time I do these, but uh, <laughs> do they cross the line? I think, I think they abandoned it. Uh, no, they just had a really slow run. I guess they lifted or something when that started wandering around. But there you go, that's the funny cars. I like the funny cars, they're cool. Uh, we'll go and quickly... I mean, there's not, I say, not crazy difference between the funny cars and the top fuels uh, in sort of procedure. I find the funny cars seem to be a little bit more difficult to control. They tend to move about a lot more uh, than the top fuel. I actually had some fairly good runs. I'm surprised in that final, final one with relatively cold tyres. I'm surprised we didn't have more problems because I have had some big issues with trying to get those to go. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I say, I, I've been I've been thoroughly enjoying my time playing through on this game. It's nice to see something tackle. I say a different kind of motorsport. Motorsport that doesn't, certainly doesn't get represented in in games all that much, and I appreciate you know. I guess I can see why, of course, because, yeah, it is. You're just driving in a straight line and everything. But I do like the, the way to kind of combat the, oh, we'll just go in a straight line. We've got all of this kind of mechanical side of things, and it is definitely something you've got to really keep on top of. I, I do actually kind of wish more racing games would, would delve more into that and have it sort of wear and tear be a lot more punishing on, on vehicles. It's something you've really got to think about with these. Uh, I've got to do the lights and everything. At least don't have to worry about gears. Oh, we have 
we're wandering again, but it's good enough for us there. <laughs> I think that's going to be quite close, but uh, yeah, these these are mad, mad machines. Um, but yeah, I mean, quick play is not quite as exciting doing these as when you're going through all the career mode uh, and everything. But it takes a while to get up to get up to that, which is why I just showed them showing them off here. Uh, the guy did not seem to have a good the other the other day when I was doing this. Uh, they were really bloody difficult to beat, and apparently today they're just having an off day. Either that, or I've finally figured out how to do these. I'm just going to, out of curiosity. I, I don't know what it's going to do. We're going to have. Do I want really low sensitivity? Or do I, you know what, we're going to go max sensitivity. Let's see what happens when I do this. <laughs> this could only go well. Uh, can we roll forward? We can roll forward. Um, I guess we'll see what we do launch-wise. And that's, that's going to be way... Oh, they're, they're very hot tyres now. <laughs> I was trying a slightly different idea. It's not worked. <laughs> it's not worked at all. Um, they're going to be very warm. I don't know if I can blow them up on the run. I've definitely blow them up before we set off, but who knows if we can blow them up on the run. Oh, that was... Oh, yeah, those tyres are unhappy with me again, I think. Um, but we are across the line. I said, it didn't feel drastically different. Oh, the AIs had a crash. <laughs> uh, well, the AIs had a crash afterwards. That's You are very much... That's very much on the line there. I'm glad we weren't behind you and wandering about, but... There we go. That was a look at uh, NHRA Championship Drag Racing. As I said, it's, it's really fun to go and take a look at a different sport. I really like the way the uh, career mode is, is done and the kind of focus on keeping your car bloody alive. Uh, which... Yeah, is is an interesting an interesting aspect uh, of all of that one. If you want to check this game out, there is a link to it in the uh, in the description. Uh, it is on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, uh, all the works. Uh, it's yeah, very very good fun. I've I've enjoyed I've enjoyed my time messing about with with something a little bit different. You know, I play a lot of racing games, and it's always nice to tackle a different sort of different sort of motorsport. That though is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.